Welcome to the 2022 through 2023 First LEGO League Super Powered Season. In this video, I will be breaking down exactly how the robot game for this year's season will work. And as always, if this is your first Zaki42 video, welcome and I'm glad you're here. It also would mean a lot to me if you would please consider subscribing. We're starting to get closer to that 1000 subscriber mark and I definitely think it's possible that we can get there by the end of the year. But I can't do that without you guys. Here is the 2022 through 2023 super powered game field. The biggest difference I see between this year's field and last year's field is that this year there are two homes, one on each side of the field. There are also two launch areas. At the beginning of a match, your robot can start in either launch and return at the end of a run to either home area. The launch area is also a part of the home area. During a match, you can have up to two people at a launch area, so four people in total. I definitely would recommend making sure that everyone on your team has a job or something to do during each match. Not only do you possibly get scored a little bit higher on the core value side of the robot game, but it's also a good way to make sure that everyone on your team feels included. Just like in the past years, each robot game match will last for 2 minutes and 30 seconds and the north side of your game table will be facing another team's table. Your robot and all of its attachments and equipment also has to fit inside of both launch areas under a height limit of 12 inches. If your robot fits in only one launch area under the height limit, your team will gain a bonus 20 points. From my first LEGO League experience in the past, I would definitely recommend going for those bonus points. 20 points doesn't sound like a lot, but it makes a really big difference. Plus, it's basically free points. But if your robot doesn't fit inside of that one launch area, it's totally fine. This year's super powered season is going to be a great season and I'm especially excited for having two home areas this year and I'm really looking forward to seeing how your team will tackle the 15 missions this year. If you have any questions or feedback please let me know in the comments below and once again thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful and if you liked it I definitely recommend checking out this video. It's all about the innovation project and it will help you and your team get a big jump start on your innovation project this year.